Hello dear one to tell us. I am of the stars. You know there was a time, a pivotal point in the history of the world, when human beings ceded their power, ceded their power, and said and agreed all together, power, they said, is wicked. Power is the work of Satan. I adjure power. I am a powerless person. That was an interesting time. Not too long ago in the history of the world. And then there came about this notion, because of that agreement, there came about this notion that the power of the natural world was wicked. I was thinking today, when I was doing a meditation, to send the sunlight and the light of God's grace deep, deep into the earth, from the stratosphere, deep into the core of earth. I was thinking how handy it would be to have a staff, you know, maybe with a pretty handle, a nice staff, a walking stick, that when I, when I say this prayer for the depths of the earth, the deep depths of the earth, I could tap the earth with the walking stick. And then the feeling would be there of, of, of the light penetrating the earth with the power of the stick. I thought, my, that might be a good idea to try something like that. It would help with walking, too. It has a practical reason. Now, this, this staff that people have, uh, some people are reminded of the days of when white magic was practiced in England. And other people immediately say about staffs and, and, and crystals and like that, they say, these are dark magic, don't they? They say that without actually thinking much about it. But to my way of thinking, there's a kind of magic that consists of the power of humankind that is white magic and directly aligned with the will and heart and mind of God, directly aligned with that. And then there is another kind of magic that relies upon the dark, the exact opposite of, of godliness, you see. So I would see no contradiction in, in taking a staff and tapping it on the earth. I would see no contradiction in the beauty of that, the symbolism of that. After all, Moses did it, did he not? Nobody complained about Moses. It's true, I'm not a man. But women have power too. They have the power of creation on earth and of consolation and education and nurturing. They have many powers on earth. That's wonderful. Of course, many men do too. So. I think that it's time for humankind to remember its great power, its magnificent soul beauty, to, to remember the power of, of aligning with God in creating the beauty and harmony of the natural world. And always to remember, some say that the astral plane of Earth, which corresponds to our astro own astral bodies, I'm sure you know about your own astral body, the astral plane of Earth is in, is in layers, the deepest layers of, of, of dark dense energy correspond to the deepest layers of, of dark dense energy in the center of Earth. And the highest layers of sublime energy and also of, of as you go up in, in negative higher energies are correspond to the to the height of the stratosphere of earth you see so so in actuality in actuality when i tap the earth the symbolism is there to transform the hell worlds 
and all the souls trapped in them to the, the wonder and glory and beauty of the grace of God. Is that not pretty cool, huh? It would be cool. Yeah, I'll have to remember to try it out. And, and I hope I can find a stick like that. And I'll let you know. I'll let you know how I feel about it later on. <laughs> you could call this one Merlin? Question mark? Or Motherhood's Staff of Life? 